like we've moved next door now from Sender 82 to its brother, Sender 84. This is one we've got set up for you so we can demonstrate it working. We've gone through uh, the control circuitry, etc., and the servos. You can see now, looking at the Orban Optimod, we've got some program material coming in. See the metering kicking up, etc. We're on 11915 kilohertz, 11915 in the 25 meter band. Uh, channel 17, it's labelled on this sender. What we're going to do is um, continue on from where we are on standby. If we just uh, focus in now, you'll see that we've got the, uh, the mains on, cooling filaments, and we're up to standby. I'm going to make the main HT switch manually in a minute. That will bring the AUX HT on, the main HT, the screen HT, and uh, the transmitter will come on the air. Then we'll have a look at the meters. It's OK, let's have a look here. The, uh, the standby switches are already on. So I'm going to go now for HD start and off we go. On this, you get a, a low power version and then it comes up to full power. So if you just look at the cathode current meter and you'll see it will come on at a low value to start with. Right, here we go on the switch. And up we go to 30 amps. 30 amps of cathode current on the final stage at 11 kV, about 300 kilowatts input. If we just look up here, we'll see we've got about 250 on the out. Forward power, 250 kilowatts. BSWR, about 1.09. And backward power, not a lot. So that's a good, a good sign. Most things are working. Got modulation running. Grid current on the final stage, about 1.7 amps. Screen grid current, about 1.5 amps. Cathode current, 31 amps. We're driving from our wideband amplifier, about 50 watts. Uh, into the pen stage, there's the pen current, 1.4 amps. Pen screen, 40 milliamps. Pen grid, no grid current, that's quite normal. We've got monitoring here of that bit of power, as I say, 50 watts from the drive. Look, that's it really, not a lot else to tell you about that. You can see the modulation meters kicking with program.